Hi my friend, in this video, we're diving into the world of Betty Davis, the American actress who holds a record of 10 Oscar nominations and 2 wins. She was also the first woman to receive the American Film Institute's Lifetime Achievement Award. Betty Davis, born Ruth Elizabeth, Betty, Davis on April 5, 1908, and passed away on October 6, 1989, was a powerhouse in film, television, and theater. She was known for her willingness to tackle cold-hearted and ruthless roles, excelling in various genres from contemporary crime dramas to historical epics and sometimes even comedies, though she found her greatest success in romantic films. After making a name for herself on Broadway, Davis made her way to Hollywood in 1930, initially facing setbacks with Universal Pictures. It wasn't until she joined Warner Brothers in 1932 that her career began to take off with significant roles. In 1937, she fought to break free from her contract with Warner Brothers, which also meant losing some legal protection in terms of promotion, but it marked the beginning of the most successful period in her acting career. By the late 1940s, she was one of the most famous American actresses, known for her fierce and uncompromising style. Davis gained a reputation for being a perfectionist, someone who could be quite combative. Her clashes with studios, directors, and co-stars are often cited. Her blunt demeanor, distinctive voice, and image of always having a cigarette in hand were frequently imitated and parodied. Davis was also a co-founder of the Hollywood Canteen and the first female president of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. She was also the first actress to receive 11 Oscar nominations and the first woman to receive the American Film Institute's Lifetime Achievement Award. Betty Davis had a challenging childhood. Ruth Elizabeth Davis, nicknamed Betty, was born in Lowell, Massachusetts, to Ruth Augusta and Harlow Morell Davis, an exclusive agent. The family was Protestant, with English, French, and Welsh roots. In 1915, her parents divorced. Betty dreamt of becoming an actress after seeing Rudolph Valentino in The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, 1921, and Mary Pickford in Little Lord Fauntleroy, 1921, changing her nickname to Betty after Honoré de Balzac's La Cousine Betty. She was encouraged by her mother to pursue this path. All right, now let's take a look back at the films that defined Betty Davis's career. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. First, we have to mention Of Human Bondage, 1934, an engaging and emotionally charged film that delves deep into the complexities of human relationships and desires. The story follows Philip Carey, a young medical student who becomes infatuated with Mildred Rogers, a cold and manipulative waitress. Despite being betrayed and rejected by Mildred, Philip cannot escape the emotional ties she holds over him. Betty Davis's performance as Mildred Rogers in this film is nothing short of mesmerizing. She portrays the character's complexities with remarkable depth and subtlety. From the initial allure to the later coldness, Davis captures every facet of the character with extreme authenticity. Her performance is a vivid, raw, and incredibly captivating portrayal, leaving a profound impression on the audience. Wow, you know what? Dangerous, 1935, is truly a film full of emotions and impressiveness. The story revolves around the life of Joyce Heath, a woman who has faced many hardships and challenges in life. Joyce, a former model, must confront the pain and failures in life after leaving her career. She faces opposition from her family and society, while also having to deal with the threat from a wealthy and powerful man. And Betty Davis's performance, oh my goodness, it's truly admirable. She portrays the nuances of Joyce's emotions with sincerity and depth. I truly felt connected to every emotion that this character went through. Betty Davis truly transforms like a genuine artist, making me believe that no one else could portray this role better. And that's also why Betty Davis deserves the Oscar for this performance. She brings the character of Joyce Heath to life with vibrancy and strength. Her emotionally charged performance left me lingering long after watching this film. It's truly one of the greatest performances I've ever seen in the history of cinema. You know what? Jezebel, 1938, tells the story of Julie Marsden, a strong and independent woman living in New Orleans in the 19th century. 
When she's not chosen to be the belle of an important event because she wore a red dress, a color reserved only for widows, Julie decides to defy it by wearing that dress. Her action causes many consequences, especially when she loses her love, Preston Dillard. The clash between Julie's love and pride creates an emotional intense story, with unforeseen consequences for her life. Betty Davis as Julie Marsden, oh my goodness, that's truly admirable. She brings vibrancy and depth to the character, making every emotion of Julie feel so real and relatable. I couldn't help but laugh, shed tears, and feel astonished while watching her performance. Betty Davis deserves the Oscar for this role, because she delivered an incredibly impressive and memorable performance. She truly brings the character of Julie Marsden to life, full of emotions, and contributes to the success of the film. Surely you've heard of, Dark Victory, 1939, a deeply moving and impressive film about the struggle of Judith Traherne, a wealthy and beautiful woman living in New York in the 1930s. Judith, a young, vibrant woman with a promising future, suddenly faces the heartbreaking truth about her brain cancer. The journey of finding the meaning of life and accepting Judith's fate creates a story full of emotions and depth. Betty Davis plays Judith Traherne. She portrays the fear, anxiety, and hope of the character convincingly. Betty Davis truly brings every moment of Judith to life, making it vivid and intimate for the audience. It's for this reason that Betty Davis was nominated for an Oscar for her lead role in Dark Victory, 1939. Have you seen The Letter, 1940, yet? It's a film filled with emotion and tension. The story revolves around a woman named Leslie Crosby portrayed by the renowned actress Betty Davis. Leslie is thrust into a difficult situation when she must face the consequences of a case of self-defense murder. Her efforts to conceal the truth and maintain peace within society make her life complicated and full of tension. Betty Davis's performance as Leslie Crosby is the highlight of the film. She brings the character to life with subtlety and sharpness, showcasing the complexity and inner conflicts within Leslie's mind. Betty Davis truly delivers an impressive performance, keeping the audience glued to the screen. With this outstanding performance, Betty Davis was nominated for an Oscar for her lead role in The Letter, 1940, a testament to her talent and ability to portray this character. The Little Foxes, 1941, is a fantastic film that you shouldn't miss. It tells the story of the Hubbard family, a wealthy family in the American South during the 1900s. The struggle for power, money, and greed within the family forces each character to confront decisions full of determination and ruthlessness. Betty Davis, in the role of Regina Giddens, portrays a strong and determined woman, willing to do whatever it takes to achieve her goals. Davis's performance is versatile and sharp, making her character complex and compelling. The Little Foxes, is not just an entertaining film but also a profound portrait of the conflicts within society and family. With the excellent performances of Betty Davis and other cast members, this film has become a classic that cannot be overlooked in the history of cinema. It's another Oscar nomination worthy performance by Betty Davis. Once again, Betty Davis was nominated for an Oscar for her lead role in the film, Now, Voyager, 1942. The story of Charlotte Vale, a woman living under the control and imposition of her wealthy family in Boston is a journey full of challenges and significance. Pressured by her mother her entire life, Charlotte must face major challenges to rediscover herself and find happiness. Betty Davis, in the role of Charlotte Vale, delivered an emotionally transformative performance. From a timid and insecure woman, she transforms into a confident and determined individual, captivating the audience not only with her emotional depth but also with her powerful portrayal. Now, Voyager, is a profound work of art about personal development and self-discovery. With its compelling storyline and outstanding performance by Betty Davis, the film leaves viewers with intense and profound emotions. Mr. Skeffington, 1944, is a compelling and profound cinematic masterpiece that you shouldn't miss. The film tells the story of Fanny Trellis, a beautiful and charming woman who unfortunately faces misfortune in love. Fanny marries Job Skeffington, a wealthy and respected man, but their marriage is not as happy as she had hoped. 
The story of love, greed, and sacrifice is portrayed in a touching and authentic manner. Betty Davis, in the role of Fanny Trellis, delivers a performance full of subtlety and strength. She brings the character to life with complexity and depth, portraying a range of emotions from joy to sorrow, from regret to sacrifice. Mr. Skeffington, is a profound tale of love and suffering. Betty Davis's performance once again earns her an Oscar nomination for Best Actress. The Star, 1952, is an emotional and meaningful film that you shouldn't miss. The story revolves around Margaret Elliott, an actress who achieved great success in the past but later faces the decline of her career and personal life. Betty Davis, in the role of Margaret Elliott, delivers a very authentic and emotional performance. She portrays the pain and longing for recognition of the character in a deeply profound and relatable manner. The Star, is a work of art about perseverance and self-worth. With Betty Davis's outstanding performance, she once again earns an Oscar nomination for Best Actress. However, her career also went through some dark periods. She admitted that her success often came at the expense of personal relationships. Being married four times, widowed once and divorced three times, she raised her children as a single mother. Her later years were marked by health struggles, but she continued acting until her passing from cancer. Let me know who your favorite actor in Hollywood is and share your thoughts by leaving a comment below this video. Don't forget to support us by liking, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon to receive notifications about my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next videos.